Hey everybody, Josh Hall here with Charleston County Park and Recreation Commission's Outdoor Program. Here to talk to you today about selecting a kayak. You've been home for a few weeks, maybe surfing the internet, looking at all these different types of kayaks to purchase out there, and maybe a little bit confused. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. I hope you set you on the right path. The first questions that you have to ask yourself are, what's your budget, what do you want to do, and where do you want to go? On budget, we have from several hundreds of dollars to several thousands of dollars. So there's a big wide range there. Be committed to spending a little bit more than you think for safety and comfort and enjoyment, and you'll get more out of your purchase. The next is, what do you want to do? Do you want to go fishing? Do you want to go uh, surfing? Do you want to do overnights? Do you want to paddle with friends in creeks, rivers, lakes, streams, oceans? You name it, there's a boat out there for you. We're going to first start out over here with our sit on top. It's our simplest. Uh, it's a good price point for entry level into the sport if you're not going to be paddling, you know, a couple times a week or only once a month, maybe only when friends come over. This is a great purchase, very inexpensive. It's easy to transport based on its length, it's a little short. It's wide which gives it a nice stable platform for beginners and paddlers of any age range. Got a nice seat back here, place for our feet. If you fall off, you can hop right back on. This is a great boat for Charleston because of typically most of our year we have warm water and warm weather. The next boat that we'll look at is a recreational kayak. This one here you can see has a little bit more of an outfitted seat. It's got more bells and whistles on it for storage. This would be a boat maybe to go for several hours out on the water, but again, not too far from shore. If you were to capsize in this boat, emptying it out could be a little trouble. Some, so you want to be able to stay close to shore so you can empty the water out that way. But again, this is a great boat. It gives us a lot of options. There's some safety features that are added here with a bulk addition of a bulkhead. That creates a nice storage container back here. So that we can put stuff in it. Okay, keep it dry, maybe bring a little picnic or lunch. The next kayak that we have over here to look at is our light touring boat. This one has a few extra safety features in it. As a smaller cockpit, it allows us to wear a spray skirt. That will keep water out from getting in when we're paddling in rougher conditions. It also has the addition of a perimeter line here, so if we do find ourselves outside the boat, we have something to hold on to. In addition, there is a bulkhead in the front of our feet and behind our seat, and that provides extra flotation for this kayak. So again, there's less space for water to fill up. If we were to capsize and get back in, simply with a hand pump, we can, we can pump that water out pretty easily and keep going and enjoying our day. Finally, we have our composite sea kayak. Again, this would be the most expensive boat in our range. Why would you spend a lot of money for a boat? Be probably because you're paddling two, three times a week. You paddle in a wide variety of conditions like the surf or the ocean. Uh, you, maybe you're doing overnight camping. You want a, a boat that's really built for trekking. Okay, This one um, is made out of fiberglass, so again, that's where we're going to save on a little bit of weight from our, our friends over here in the plastic world of polyethylene tend to be a little heavier than our composite boat, so we're willing to pay a little bit more for it, but that's because we're going to use it. Again, in all cases, we want you to take hands-on instruction before venturing out with your friends and neighbors so you can have a great, enjoyable, and safe time on the water. Always remember to have a well-fitted life jacket or a personal flotation device for everybody on the water. We hope to see you soon through our Charleston County Park and Recreation Outdoor Programs. Be safe and enjoy your time on the water.